And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at Gigamon, or Digimon, or I'm going to say Gigamon, I think. This is a game that comes with a pretty interesting box. I guess it sits cool on the, on the shelf, although these boxes are kind of a pain uh, for stores to stack and stuff. But this is a game with these giant creatures here of different elements. you got fire and water and earth and all, and and electricity and such, but it's essentially a memory match style game for kids, but it has a bit of a twist with it, special powers. Memory match with special powers. I'll show you. The game is pretty simple. You have a pile of tiles, and you're gonna place nine of those face down in a grid like this, and on a player's turn, they're gonna turn over two of those tiles. If they match array, if not, they turn them back over. The next person will turn over two tiles. Hooray, these match. You're like, what? How can those possibly match? That's because as you're turning these tiles over, and you can see all the different tiles here, um, two of the same will match. But this one here, this Polymon, he is a wild, so he matches anyone. So when you get a match, you're going to take the tiles and place them in front of you. Each tile does something special. As I said, the Polymon matches anything. When you take a pair of Electromons, you also get to take another whole turn. If you get a Floromon, you get to take a tile off the top and just place that in front of you. If you get the Pyromon, you can take a tile that's in front of somebody else and get rid of it. If you get the Hydromon, everyone else has to close their eyes and you get to turn over four tiles, look at them, and turn them face back down. If you get the uh, the Geomon here, you, you can place one of these on a tile and no one can touch that tile until your next turn. And if you get the Aeromon, you can switch one of your tiles for a tile another person has in front of them. Now, what is all this switching of tiles? Well, when you're collecting these tiles, if you ever get three tiles of the same type, you will then get the Jigamon of that type. So then you put that in front of you. And for each of these seven types, there's one of these giant ones. But you have to have three of the same tile. These wilds don't count at that point in time. In fact, the wilds have their own big giant Jigimon who looks like he escaped from Big Hero 6. So these, and by the way, these fall over really easily. Woo! Um, each of these you're going to be getting. And if you get three and someone else has it, you just take this from them. So these will be trading back and forth, which is a big deal, because if you ever get three of them, you win. Otherwise, when the pile of tiles runs out, you continue, because every time you get, someone gets a match, you replace them. Well, face down, not face up. Um, when they're gone, you play until no more matches can be made. And then whoever has the most of these wins, with tie going to whoever, whoever has the most Digimon. It has a lot of good qualities. The artwork is really cute. The kids will like it. It's very easy to tell them apart. The big giant Gigamon monsters. My kids really like these, even though they do tend to fall over pretty easily. But that's a lot of fun. The rules are very simple. The box itself, everything fits nicely inside it. I still think it's kind of a weird shape. Uh, but the game itself is essentially memory match. But I do like the numerology behind this. In essence, there are nine tiles out there. There's always going to be at least one match, or at least two matches, because there's seven different creatures. So, but that's interesting, because of the way the numbers are, you may find the, uh, let's see, the Floramon, and there may not be another Floramon match out there at that point in time. But of course, the Polymons, my kids love these things, because they watch everything. When they get one, they're like, yes, because whatever else they draw is a match. The special powers are very easy, although be warned, the fire one is a little mean, makes someone else's tile go away. Um, and the switching one can also be mean too. You can make somebody, uh, you, you can basically make it so you can steal something from someone else. It's interesting that you get these in pairs of two, and yet you need three to get a Gigamon. And I think that's interesting because the one gives you an extra tile. There's the wild one, so you're only maybe getting one out of the three that you need when you get a match with the wild one. It's a pretty interesting thing. So it teaches kids memory, and there's lots of games that do that, but it also gives them this idea of, ooh, when you do this, you get to do a special power. When you do this, 
and the kids will pick up on that really soon. Oh, hey, I can do an extra move. Hey, I get an extra card. Hey, I can take a tile from somebody else. And I think the game is a lot of fun for kids in that regard. It's not a long game. The box here says 15 minutes. I think that's pretty accurate. 15 minutes, high quality, good artwork, and it feels like a fresh take on the memory genre. This one for kids is a winner. Dice Tower Judgment, approved for kids. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top rated audio podcast at dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at coolstuffinc.com. Hey, sir. Could you shut the door? Boop. Boop.